Welcome back to Daytime. Well, we are back getting a little bit of education during the break here. And now we are ready to educate you, ladies and gentlemen. We're, we're wearing some mm -hmm. traditional Nigerian outfits. Am yes, I right, Doris? that's right. Now, you are with the Global Cuisine Catering Company, right? Yes, that's my company. Now, let's talk a little bit about that. How did you get this idea off the ground? Thank you very much, Derek. Well, I've always been interested in cooking. And after attending university, I know that I want to start my own catering business. I've worked in different areas, but cooking is my passion. So that's why I studied Global Cuisine Catering Services and also to bring culture to Ottawa mm -hmm. because Ottawa is a multicultural society. Right. And it has always been said that people that eat together, culture that eat together, they stay together. So that's the whole idea of Global Cuisine Catering Services. Great idea. And obviously you focus on, on food from different countries. But yes. today we're talking about a special Nigerian dish. Jollof rice. Jollof rice. So is this something that people can expect as a traditional meal if they go to Nigeria? Yes, it is. And um, everybody that uh, has tasted jollof rice, they love it because it's really good. Um, last time I went to um, Warakan Festival to mm -hmm. represent Nigerian Embassy right. and I made jollof rice and everybody liked it. <laughs> so it's really delicious, it's wonderful. And if you go to Nigeria, so that's exactly the main food that they will serve you, apart from other dishes, because we have so many things in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, would this, would this be considered a main course? Yes, it is a main course. Okay. It is, yes. Now, and I want to know, sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, we're getting in the mood because you've brought along yeah. some, oh, some Nigerian you. clothing for <laughs> us. And what is this called? Well, this is the wax material. Mm -hmm. It's a real wax material, oh. and uh, it's from Nigeria. It's beautiful. Thank you. And what is Derek what, wearing? What here? am I sporting? Well, here? this is also wax material, and it's for men. You know, so actually men and women can wear this. My husband and I, we have the same uniform. We usually dress uh, mm -hmm. in uniform. So it's for everybody that likes uh, fashion and good taste. Yeah, I notice the fashion, you know, is, is always so colorful. Yes. What's the reason behind that? Well, because we're happy people. <laughs> we like to dress up in happy colors, you know, wonderful colors. Yes. I love now, it. Now, give us a little bit of education behind Nigerian culture itself. What are some well, of the main principles? Nigeria has so many uh, ethnic groups. And we have so many languages, like 250 languages. You're kidding. However, wow. when you hear about a Nigerian, you feel proud because everybody in Nigeria, we feel proud of who we are. That's why the fact that we speak so many languages. And food is what usually brings us together, food and dance. We mm -hmm. love to dance. We love to have fun. So... I yeah. think I've got a little Nigerian in me too, then, because oh, I love food, <laughs> yeah, I love dancing, I, and I love having so fun. Too. So it's perfect. Definitely, yes, definitely. So well, too. then let's get started and tell us briefly uh, okay. what, what we're going to put together for the jollof rice. Okay, we have uh, ingredients here. I have the onions, mm -hmm. I have the garlic, the okay. shrimp. I have pureed tomato, about three uh, medium-sized tomato. Mm -hmm. I have the uh, tomato paste. Okay. Uh, the, for this recipe, it's best to use two to three tablespoons mm -hmm. of the tomato. And I have curry powder. We're going to use just uh, a teaspoon mm -hmm. of the curry powder. Okay. And then, of course, the salt. In Nigeria, we usually make it very spicy. But because we have so many people that eat the food, like Canadians and mm -hmm. other cultures, we try to limit the uh, spicy part of it. So if you like spice, you can add it. You know. Oh, okay, Perfect. I got you. Perfect. I love the spicy, so don't, don't oh, be shy with it. Oh, wonderful. Me, <laughs> All right, great. Okay, we're running out of time during this segment, but don't go away, everybody, because when we come back, we're going to put all these beautiful ingredients together and show you the final product. We'll be right back with Doris right after this. Welcome back to daytime, everyone. It smells delicious it in here. We're here with Doris cooking up a typical Nigerian uh, dish called jollof rice. Jollof rice, yes. And uh, what have we started uh, cooking here, we Doris? We added the onions mm -hmm. and we cooked it for a minute. And then the next ingredient was uh, garlic, mm -hmm. chopped garlic, about two garlics, okay. uh, cloves. 
and then we add the shrimp. The shrimp we cook for just two minutes because we don't want to overcook it. Right. No, that's okay. right. Yeah. That's right. So I'm going to remove it okay. while we add other ingredients. Okay, so that's important so, to remember at home. Yes. Remove your shrimp before so we add the rest. That's okay. Right. Plus, you get that nice shrimp flavor in for the rest, too. That's oh, right. yeah. There you go. So, how many shrimp do you put into this dish? If, if I mean, Just how many people will be eating this? Okay, the, this very dish will serve up to 12 people. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, the next ingredient I'm going to add is the pureed the tomatoes. Okay. okay. About three medium sized tomatoes. Three medium, all right. And I love the color of it too. Oh, thank you. Because you it can looks see good, it, isn't it looks it? Oh, yeah. really good. Yes. Nothing's added. It's Wonderful. pure tomato. Yeah, it's pure fresh. tomato. That's one thing about Nigerian dishes. We use all fresh ingredients from scratch. So and all the, these things are basically you can find local too, that's which is right. nice, right? Exactly. All the vegetables local and so forth. The next ingredient is the tomato paste. Mm -hmm. okay. So two to three tablespoons we do. And well, then we cook that for two minutes as mm -hmm. well and then we add a teaspoon of uh, curry powder now this is where you can add more if you'd like exactly right? you just have fun with it exactly if you like it spicy boom throw another Wonderful. couple of teaspoons mm -hmm. in and there and then we add a tablespoon a teaspoon of uh, salt all right Excellent. And we mix continue all that. cooking it. Oh, so far, yeah. it looks relatively simple. So yeah. far, I yeah. think oh, that we so can maybe easy. You can do it at home. Oh, yeah. even now we can? <laughs> well, it is an easy recipe <laughs> then. What I'll I usually try. do yeah. is take a little bit of sauce after it's cooked down yeah. to add to the um, shrimp okay. Okay. so that when I put it back, it will give mm -hmm. it a nice color. Oh, so nice. All right. So then you can mix it up. Okay. So well, the yeah, next ingredient I'm going to put is the water. Excuse me. Sure. Is this just cold water? This is cold water for because it's uh, two cups of rice. Mm -hmm. It calls for three cups of uh, water. Okay. However, okay. you can use the uh, chicken broth, beef broth, vegetable broth, whatever you have. Mm -hmm. And the whole like, the good, um, the best thing to do is to add two cups of water first, and then add whatever you wish to add. You know, as you go, because if you add three cups of water all at the same time, it might be soggy. So you don't want that right. to be no. soggy. Okay. No. Okay. Okay. So now, is this a dish that uh, is quite popular with your company? Global it's very Care? popular, but I cook everything. I cook fried rice. Fried rice goes very well. You Got know, it. people love. Fr I don't know if I should say that they love jollof rice better than they love fried rice because really? they, it's like they compete with each other. So. <laughs> really? Okay, we'll have to keep That's that great. in yeah. mind now, for next time. Now, you brought in what I thought originally was a banana, but you're telling me this isn't a banana. No. What am I holding here? That's a plantain. Okay. So that's what we have here. You slice it and mm -hmm. you fry it. So um, the difference is that plantain, you fry plantain, um, you slice it and you fry it. But banana, for, mm -hmm. for us Nigerians, we don't fry bananas, we eat them. So okay. you know, this you now, does this taste like banana? It doesn't taste, they have different tastes. Uh, ban uh, banana is a little softer. Mm -hmm. Plantain is, well, after it's made today, you're going to taste yes. it okay. and you're going right. to tell me. Right. So Good. I'll tell everybody at home what it tastes like. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm going to add the rice. This is two cups of rice. Okay, okay. so it's already been cooked. It's cooked for four to five minutes. All right. Excellent. So it's not completely cooked, you know. Okay, so it's still a bit hard then. Exactly. Got so it. that's why I say add two cups of water. Oh, right. I get it now. But it costs for three cups of water. She okay. Okay. She's slow to gonna catch on, yeah, but eventually, <laughs> Dora, she gets no, it. she's doing great. <laughs> she's doing she is wonderful. doing great. I admit. So then we cover it up, mm -hmm. and then the next ingredient, the next thing we're going mm -hmm. to do is the plantain. Yes, so let's fry start up. frying this fry up. The okay. plantain. It smells like banana. Yeah? Yeah. Well, you're it right. smells like it does. Uh, like banana that's not ripe. Now, do you add anything? Can you add sweet oh, to this? Oh, you can add uh, salt to it, but okay. nothing. Some people add ginger. I haven't tried that one. I heard it's right. good. You know, <gasps> mm -hmm. um, that's uh, ground ginger. Yes. You know. Okay. I love ginger. Look at ginger. that. We're down to 30 seconds already, but I tell so you what. So let's start frying this up. You start frying that up. Yep. Okay. I'm going to bring this out and okay. show everybody at home. Look at this beautiful dish. This is what it's going to look like at the end. You put that in the middle of the table, right, Doris? Yes. Everybody serve themselves. Yes, exactly. Mm. And you can eat it with a salad or vegetables. Like when Wonderful. we do a full catering, we add uh, vegetables to mm -hmm. it to give it color because uh, there's, uh, we don't have enough time here. So we right. decide mm -hmm. to well, just you know show what? you. If you don't exactly. have time, like we don't, mm -hmm. give her a call and she'll take care of everything for you, ladies Wonderful. and gentlemen. The, the, the number's right up on your screen. Don't go away. We'll be back to wrap things up in another great tune from Epiphane when we come back.
Oh. I love the plantain. Yeah? It's very... Visit www.rogerstelevision.com to access information from daytime. Click on Ottawa and find daytime under show listings. Prepare recipes featured on the show. Read articles filled with lifestyle tips and advice. Learn about our regular daytime guests. Send an email to the daytime producer with your suggestions and comments. Browse through the daytime photo gallery. All available for you at www.rogerstelevision.com.